We're going to have a look at how you can capture what's typed into a text input box and then use that on another screen uh, using what's called asset variables. So in this particular case, I want to be able to type in my name. And then on the next screen, I want to be able to display a welcome message which includes the name that I've typed in. So to be able to do that, let's go back into the GOMO editor. And let me have a look at the first screen here. So I've just got the usual text input box here. It's not a tracked assessment. All I'm doing is simply typing in a name. I'm not being scored on that at all. And I've set this just to be a single line entry. Click apply there. And the key thing in terms of being able to identify the particular text input box whose value I want to use is its unique ID here at the top left. So what I'm going to do is just highlight that and copy it. And now I'm going to move down to the screen where I want to use the value that's been typed in. So in this case, my welcome message. So I'm just simply going to drop in a text asset here. Double click. And now the message is going to be, let's just make it a bit bigger. It's going to be welcome. And now, just as I would with any variable that I've created myself to display its value, I use double curly braces. And now, what I do is just type in the term asset variable because I'm picking up a variable associated with a particular asset, then dot. And now I just paste in the unique ID for my text input box, the one that I copied from its properties. Close the curly braces there. Click apply. Back to the navigator and save. Topic save, go back to my preview window. Let's just reload and see how this behaves now. And so here, what I should be able to do is to just type in my name again, click confirm, click the next button to move to the next screen. There we go, it's picked up the value that I've typed into that text input box. So that's a very simple example of just uh, using it to pick up a name and to reflect a welcome message. But you could also be using the same method, for example, if you set up some uh, reflective questions where the learner might uh, comment on what they've been learning so far. And then at, maybe at the end of the topic, what you can then have a page which then displays the, the thoughts they've been typing in as they actually move through the topic. So again, that's all using, in this case, a text input and the asset variable mechanism.